does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bitch! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am! You guys are all fucking assholes. Oh, shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. Hello everyone. So it's been like two weeks as of recording this video, this audio, since the Star Stable Halloween event had begun. And I wanted to wait a while till I could get like all of my thoughts together and really check out the event and everything before I would make this video. And I plan to make these videos with big events like this to just kind of articulate my thoughts and like give feedback because this game is falling apart both figuratively and literally <laughs> so i took notes during the entire event it's so my my thoughts aren't too jumbled but this isn't scripted otherwise um but this event was a mess like that that sums it up i'd say honestly and i know i'm not the only one because comments are saying the same shit i'm about to so these are in no particular order, but these are basically my thoughts on, like, the event as a whole. And certain things that I liked, certain things that I definitely didn't like, other things that I'm, like, 50-50 on, I didn't really care. So let's go ahead and dive into it! This is just a feedback video, I guess. So, we're gonna start with the big-ass elephant, or in this case, crow, in the room. Unlocking the portals. Now, when the event initially started, this was a mess. I, personally, I'm a very, very casual player. I only get on if I'm about to train a horse or to check out an update. But since I am now lo no longer buying star coins unless it's at the very beginning of a new year, uh, you know, treat myself, uh, and I'm limiting myself to magic horses, training horses is not as big of a thing that I do now. This year's Magical Horse Bunch has been de devastating. The Halloween horses are like the first Magical Horses this year that I actually wanted. So, I have not been on to train often. I did buy two Shires when they came out because I was looking forward to that remake. But that was like the first horse and only horse I've trained this year. <laughs> so, but with that... That means that I don't get on frequently like some players, and because of that- So, because of that, I don't get on often. I have like a set routine of shit that I do in a day, and... Having to unlock the portals was a chore! Now, because I don't get on the game often, I do sometimes miss it. You know, like, nostalgic reasons or just, like, relaxing. I use this game to kind of relax. The repetitive nature of training and doing races just kind of relaxes me. But, again, I don't get on often. So, having to be on for hours to farm ghost tornadoes to unlock everything was a chore. I didn't mind, like, I don't mind the idea of having to unlock the portals. But they definitely needed to up the amount of fucking soul shards you get. They definitely needed to up the amount of soul shards the ghost would give you. Because that thing took me two days to unlock everything. And it takes you like 120, 130 soul shards to unlock everything and get like one of the crow pets. That's a lot. That's a hefty sum. So they definitely should have either lowered the prices on the portals or upped the amount of soul shards you got, especially because the only way to get soul shards in the beginning was to farm the tornadoes. There's, there was no other way other than maybe getting lucky and finding one around the keep, like a soul shard around the keep. And till Galloper's Gambit came out, there was no way to farm a shit ton. Like, yeah, you can log off and back on, but we shouldn't have to use a bug. Just saying. Like, I did it. I, <laughs> I did it. But, uh, a lot of people did it more, and they exploited leveling up, too. Which, that's another thing. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if that was an oversight on Star Stable's part, but they definitely didn't fix that fast enough. 
Because people used it. Uh, there was a lot of EXP exploits with this event. This event was broken. Oh my god. It was so broken. But they definitely needed to up the amount of soul shards we got. Because, like, some people have school. Like, your, your main demographic, your targeted audience is children. Like, youngish children from fucking ages 6 to 10. They have school. So, they're busy, too. And then you have your older audience who have jobs, you know, the ones that pay you money willingly out of our pockets. Uh, they have work, so school and work, and people don't have time to farm so long to unlock the activities that we have- we are used to having been free. So, I don't- overall my thought on that is I don't mind that that's something we would have to do, but I would definitely, in the future, if you ever decided to do this with any of the other events, to up the amount of uh, tradable currency so that we can do it faster. I honestly think it was a way to make people have to constantly get back on the game to do it. But on the verse, in doing so, people did not want to get on to do it. And it was just a means to extend the event longer than it should have. Because a lot of people are missing out on getting the autumn tokens to trade for outfits. And some people aren't even doing this event at all. So it's just a mess. Nextly, the trail ride. I was actually shocked that it worked for the first time. Because the first time it was ever introduced, you could do the trail ride. You could trade. Well, no, you couldn't actually trade. But Poe the Crow was there. Uh, but you couldn't trade anything on like the first week of the trail ride being uh, added. So like a lot of people were confused of what it was for. And then so I'm I'm glad that the trail ride worked, and you could get the crows like instantly. So I do like the trail ride. It's one of my favorites. So I am shocked that it worked the first time. Of course, with the trail ride be uh, comes Gloomwing, which is the new crow pet that you can get along with nightwing you can get nightwing without being a star uh, a soul rider or star rider whatever it is called again um you can get nightwing without being a star rider but you can't get gloomwing as a non-star rider because the item you need for gloomwing can be found up in dino valley inside the dinosaur's mouth so that, I don't know if that was an oversight or if Star Stable was just trying to give the Star Riders a little extra something something for, you know, buying a membership of some sort or a subscription. But I don't think that was fair. Uh, considering Star Rider, non-Star Riders already have an issue with getting soul shards because they don't spawn often in, like, free areas from Fort Pinta to Moreland. They don't get them as often as non uh, as Star Riders do, so like there's already an issue there. So giving uh, not giving a pet <laughs> is little little mess up. Again, I don't know if it's like an oversight. So again, it might have just been an oversight on their part. Didn't really think about it. Completely just tossed the non Star Riders under the bus. Like yeah, you yeah, yeah. don't see ya. out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Um. But yeah, that the ghost tornadoes and gloomwing are very un non star rider friendly. They're not, not they are not non star rider friendly. With that, like lack of soul shards all around, really is an issue. I feel like one of the big problems in this event was the lack of communications for players to know what the fuck to do. I feel like a lot of what players found out is because they were talking with each other and they just found out through community, which that's not a bad thing, especially in such a divided community as this between white knights and those that give constructive criticism and everything. It's good to still give us a sense of having to talk to each other and be like, hey, this works this way. You get this from that activity. So it kind of works out, you know, and YouTubers had a big help in that. But players shouldn't be so confused. Like, we had the first initial post where Star Staple was giving, like, a very vague rundown of all of the activities, and then we have a second post now. Apparently, you have been able to get the blue pumpkin this entire time, but nobody's gotten it. So, something's wrong there 
for sure. I have, I have three pairs of the accused pants, accursed, accursed pants from the cauldron while trying to get the pumpkin pet myself. Three pairs of the same pants. Who? One for every day. <laughs> oh god, this game's a mess. I fuck. It. Oh god, but yeah. Like, just the lack of, like, communication between the game and the players knowing what we need to do. I think they need to add, like, a bulletin board of all the prizes you can get or something that you can just check mark or some shit. Like, you get this from this activity, you gotta do this specifically. Like, just a rundown would be better in, like, the game somehow. Or, like, in the, uh, the activity area. Like, you can click on it and see what you can do for the day or, like, for the event and like check it off or something just like a little checklist maybe or something i don't know just like it's it's a mess it's a mess and i'll keep saying it this event is a mess with that me having three pairs of the same pants the cauldron the cauldron is putting alicia breedings rng like on on fucking it's competition honestly it's competition between the two because the rng for the cauldron is just messed up not to mention it's the same exact outfit it's always been it's nothing new which honestly it's fine because newer players could get the same set that older players have but it but uh at what cost i definitely think that there needs to be a cap put on it like you can't get the same items twice or in my case three times there definitely needs to be a cap put on that shit it's just uh, it's wild like getting repeating items and then <laughs> not even getting the new pet oh my god like i think i saw one person one person say that they got the pet today but you've been able to get that this entire time and now we finally have one person saying hey i got it i think i think i'll have to go back but i'm thinking it was on facebook somebody finally said hey i got the new putt don't know how i got it but i got it so that's an issue since personally i like collecting the free pets because i can no longer pay to buy the pets because i'm saving my star coins for horses so collecting free pets is like my thing now <laughs> because that's all i can afford but yeah, the cauldron definitely needs to be altered and like put a cap on how many of the same item you can get. Like, it should honestly just be you get the hat once, you get the gloves once, you get the like the whole set in the tack, and then like at the end you get the pet. Like for continuously doing it. Like it shouldn't be such a messed up RNG. And with that, we come to my favorite activity the pumpkin hunt that has sadly been altered beyond recognition the pumpkin hunt was the first thing that i unlocked when i got enough soul shards to do it um because i thought it was going to run the same as it did last year where you got three pumpkins to spawn and then you got autumn tokens and then you could trade them in i thought you were going to get the pumpkin pet from the pumpkins but no you got um the, the little orange green one instead of the blue one which is rude but whatever so that's why i unlocked it because i thought i was gonna get the the blue pumpkin pet first again lack of communication there on what gives you what but whatever so i unlocked the pumpkin hunt thinking it worked the same and it doesn't you get one pumpkin a day one pumpkin a day that is devastating, because I love the pumpkin hunt. I love being chased by Daddy Pumpkin. But you don't even get anything good. Like, you get tokens, which I did get my set that I'm wearing in this video. Uh, the tack, the moon tack set. But uh, I had to work for it. <laughs> One pumpkin a day and had to do all the activities once. Like... The Pac-Man thing is fun, too. I like doing it. I got a few soul shards from there. But the pumpkin hunt just broke my heart because I love doing that. And not to mention, the f the barrier that goes around the little area is completely broken. If I can get a video of it, I will put it up. But, like, it's it's glitching out. It goes from hazy to black to these stars in the sky to half orange, half foggy white. 
I don't think it knows what it's doing anymore. I don't think it pays. It gets paid enough to work, <laughs> honestly. So it's just like I'm I'm functioning not the way I'm intended to, but I'm functioning. I'm here, because if you walk out of it, it still acts like you're you know you walked out of it. So it still works. It's just it don't look like it's supposed to. Like this this event is so buggy. So buggy. I ran into Galloper Thompson on the trail ride and my screen had gone like foggy around the edges and I left the trail ride and I still had that foggy screen around the edges of my screen as if he was still there. So it was buggy and and I'm being flashed by my water now. I've heard people say that the water started to like disappear. I've seen that and then I saw that people said that the water started to like flash. Yeah, we're being flashed when we enter Star Stable now. That's great. Or people that can go into seizures quickly with that. That's an issue. That is an eyesore. Um, that's the first time I've seen it. But that's, like that, this event brought that bug for me. <laughs> and I, I've heard it's been here for like months. And, and now I see it. And um, I didn't consent to being flashed, Star Stable. I didn't. So like overall, I don't like the pumpkin hunt. I went on a tangent. I don't like the pumpkin hunt being one pumpkin a day. I would rather it be three pumpkins a day again. Or like two. If it had to be that way. Or just bring back how it was originally where you- the pumpkin hunt is a separate activity altogether and it gives its own rewards. Um. The trail ride's fine. Again, it works the same as last year so I'm- I'm not disappointed about it. I farmed a lot for like next year. Um, I got a lot of bones for whatever pet they bring next year, if they bring one. The soul shards hunting was a chore. I dreaded getting on <laughs> to hunt. Um, I also, like, log off, back on, EXP bugs. Overall, this I said it, I've said it again, this event is a mess. I didn't mind opening the portals... Since there's, like, lore to why they were closed, apparently we'll find out next week, um, with the new, like, event quest. Overall, I'm disappointed, but, like, somewhat satisfied? Like, I got everything I wanted. The last thing I need is the pumpkin pet, which I'm gonna have to, like, really try at that until somebody pops up, says, you gotta do this, 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 and this, and you get the pet. Maybe it really is just down to RNG luck. I don't know. But, like, unsatisfied, but not severely unsatisfied, I guess, is my rating. <laughs> like, f 4 out of 10. No, 3.4 3 out of 10 is my, my star rating on this event. It's a mess. It's buggy. Not to mention it crashed, like, the first day for me, like, constantly. And I heard a lot of other people started crashing too. Just disappointed. And I'm worried about what they plan to do for the winter event. Because the winter event has no activities anymore. It has races. That's it. Like, are you going to lock the races now too? So I'm a little worried about what they're going to do for the winter event. Um, do we have to race? Do, do, we, do we have to go like run around the map to find our presence now? They just don't spawn under the Yule tree anymore? Is that going to be a thing? I hope not. Just like, there's so little activities for the winter event. So like having this be the way it was for the Halloween event, it's just a little worrying, honestly. Overall, I am disappointed in the activities. I'm fine that we had to unlock them. I just wish we had more ways of getting soul shards early on to unlock them faster. Uh, the horses are nice. I like the Halloween horses, as you can see. I bought Laverna. I did buy a uh, Namain as well. I bought both of them, but um, the Halloween horses knocked it out of the park. After, after hemorrhage, hem hem her Hermia, her that those two. After those two, I had no hope for the Halloween horses, so I'm very pleased with the Halloween horses that we got. And I do have hopes for the Christmas uh, horses, hopefully. But yeah, that, those are my thoughts. The Halloween update was kind of a, a disappointing, very unsatisfying mess of an update. 
which is a shame because it like Halloween is my favorite holiday and this event normally is my favorite event because it has so many different activities to do that keeps a casual player like me on the game when I miss it. But now my my hopes for winter are dashed and I am worried, so just like uh, listen to the feedback your players give you Star Stable and fix this update. Galloper's Gambit's fine though. That one's fine. And the Pac-Man game is fine. I'm happy that we can exploit Galloper's Gambit just a little to get more star uh, soul shards. Even though it's not really an exploit, it's how it's intended to be done. But at least we have one way now. But that, that put like a whole week, that put players like a whole week behind if they didn't get on to unlock things yet. Now they have to rely on doing Galloper's Gambit over and 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 over to unlock everything and get everything. And then they like, they already missed out on like a whole week if that's what they're doing. Like, I didn't, don't think you thought this through. But yeah, that's everything. And now, hopefully, these thoughts will leave my mind and I can focus on other videos that I have planned. But yeah. Thank you for listening to my rambling rants. I'm, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. Maybe you enjoyed the bugginess of this event, that's fine. But yeah, that, I'm gonna leave my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!